are in the NGW Green Room, Puyallup, Washington at Fitness Quest, here to promote the upcoming grudge match between world champion Brad Schwartz and the one and only star of the movie Vision Quest, Shoot. How you guys doing? Good. Good, yeah. It's, uh, I connected with uh, Shoot Online. I don't know if it was him or me that connected first and it was kind of like uh, gosh we have a lot in common uh, movie was shot in my hometown with my high school coach in my high school and uh, I don't know I think I probably should have been in the movie as opposed to maybe Loudon uh, and, and we started talking and uh, uh, shoot and I went oh, maybe we should go I said what do you mean go and uh, I thought, okay, well, maybe we'll have a Vision Quest day for the kids in our Auburn Fitness Quest location, May 14th, and then May 15th, we'll have a Vision Quest day in our Puyallup location. And uh, then it kind of got escalated. Uh, so the reason we picked uh, May 14th is I wanted to make sure that Nationals was out of the way uh, in Las Vegas. I was training twice a day with my coach Jake Schwartz uh, at the Puyallup Fitness Quest location and uh, it started to get a little bit more weird. Uh, I probably watched the movie a hundred, maybe two hundred times and uh, I got done competing. I looked in the audience and there was shoot like he was scouting me like in the, like in the movie. Uh, we got a couple of face to faces and you know, Jake, my coach, said, you know, when somebody says, yeah, I haven't wrestled in a long time, and, and uh, hey, we'll just kind of go, that's when people get hurt. So uh, we figured, hey, hot off the press. Last Thursday, I was fortunate enough to win uh, the national championships. The guy in the semifinals, uh, it was a knockdown, dragout brawl, and and uh, so I'm ready to go. Uh I think Shoot is saying, yeah, it's been a while since I've wrestled. But you just don't know because uh, uh, this guy trained uh, uh, the guy that won the uh, Division I National Championships at 125, Nick Soriano. He's been training him, working with him on his nutrition. So it might be a little bit more up this guy's sleeve. So what do you think about that, Shoot? Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just out here doing my thing, but... Uh... You know, you never know what, what I've got going on because, uh, you know, I've watched this guy compete at Masters. I know what he's, he's a banger. He's a hard worker. But, um, you know, I still have some moves that I think I might be able to pull out uh, when I need to. And I think I can, I think I can uh, come after him. I think I can give him, a, you know, more than a, just a, a good match. I think that this will be very competitive. I, I just don't see him making it through the third round necessarily. But, you know, I, I think he'll show up and, and try and put on a good show. That's how this thing gets escalated. He puts a jab in there, puts another jab in there. But uh, like I explained earlier, I've been training twice a day for the last six months. This is my life. So what I do is train, and we inspire people. And, and you know, I respect Shoot. I, I watched his wrestling. It's, it's real. And, uh, you know, he trained somebody at the national level that won it last year, D1, at 135. And... Uh, helped him with his nutrition, got down to 125. Uh, and I kind of heard him in the background. Yeah, I've been wrestling a little bit and, and in the wrestling room. So we're, we're taking it serious. Nice. And this looks like to be a knockout drag out. Shoot, uh, I think you've got this guy's uh, blood boiling over here. Yeah, no, I think, I think uh, exactly what he's just ex expressed is that, you know, we, we have a lot of respect for each other, but... We also want to find out like where where the rubber meets the road here like you know how much how far can you how, how far can we push each other and you know let's let's see let's see who who can come out on top on this yeah and michael uh in wrestling you always start off drilling you warm up and then all of a sudden a spark lights up and now it's live wrestling so it, it, it never it, it never ends up the way it starts. We may be out there and, and uh, we're going to do some in inspiring commercials to, to motivate all our members. And, and but, but at the end of it, what we promised uh, was supposed to be a showing. And now that it's gotten online, it's uh, everybody's taking it to the next level where it's going to be an all out match. So I've got hundreds and hundreds of members showing up at our Auburn Club, May 14th, high noon, uh, right in the Outlet Collection Mall, high noon. 
uh, shoot on uh, May 14th and then May 15th we just opened a, a beautiful club in Puyallup and that's going to be high noon on May 15th that's a Saturday Sunday so he's flying in and I have the utmost respect for him uh, he's really promoted the sport that we absolutely love it's a small portion of what we do at Fitness Quest uh, but uh, uh, we love to brawl Nice, and I see you got lots of events that day and some specials for possible new members. Yeah, it, it gets even a little bit more interesting. Shoot is bringing the log with him. Uh, we're going to have a contest with the log. He's going to bring shirts and sign autographs. We're going to we're going to play the movie. It's going to be fun for the kids and the family, and we'll have specials that day. And uh, but it's going to be all about having a family day in these multi-million dollar facilities. So just so you know shoot uh, we train in multi-million dollar facilities and we've got regional training centers we've got wrestling mats and we're open 24 7 so uh, you're coming in my house gotta bring it baby I mean I, I'm gonna come to your house and I hate to say it but I may have to spank you in front of your own group of family oh you see Michael that's it started off really nice, and I'm supposed to be the business guy. It started off nice, and then he just throws the jabs in there. And uh, no, no different than competing. Uh, someone bangs harder, we bang harder. They go a little bit harder, we go a little bit harder. But uh, I didn't see him working out in Las Vegas. I saw him signing autographs, and uh, I was over there brawling. Okay, I just got done. I'm, I'm still almost sweating from Thursday, getting done with nationals and and. Uh, Look at that beauty. We won. Yes. So nice. I don't know if you saw that, Frank, but uh, uh -huh. we won, and it, it wasn't an easy go. Uh, I had a guy that was second in the world in the semifinals, and and it was a great match and a great match in the finals. So it wasn't a gimme tournament. These guys were locked, loaded, and, and ready to go. And I think there's 20,000 plus fans there, so we had a blast. Uh, you know, after the fact, I hope. I hope Frank and I are, are shoot. I hope we become friends after that. Yeah, but, it, you know, like I told my wife, we're gladiators. We go. There's no friends on the mat. Uh, then afterwards, hopefully we'll shake hands and, and he'll have an event if he can, you know, crawl off the mat and, and uh, be able to recover. Yeah. Yeah. Any final I words? Be able to recover. I don't think you have to worry about me, boss. You know, I think... Uh, you know, you still look a little tired from that whole event. You know, I'm not even sure you actually completely recovered. So, you know, I, I think this might have been a good time to like take a few more weeks off. But uh, since we're pushing it, we're going to make this happen. You know, I'll show up. I'll, I'll see what you got. You know, I'm hoping that you'll bring a little something. Shoot, we already started training again. I'm already in my full training regime. I took I took one day and I got right back into it, uh, planning for this. That that was a great event. And uh, you know what it's like. You get down to weight, you get lean, you're ready to go. And the the second tournament's even better. So I consider you a full tournament. Well, we'll see. You know, it's just uh, you know, it's kind of an old guy. I figure that you know your recovery is going to be a little slow on this on the back end. Did you just call me old? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I had I had to do a full physical, uh, and physiologically they measured all my all my uh, testing that of about a 28 year old. Okay. So my physiology. I train with the college guys, Jake Swartz over here. He's the owner of the uh, Puyallup Fitness Quest location. He's my coach, three time Pac-12 champ, several time national champ, and uh, he's my coach. He's actually in better shape right now than when he was an All-American uh, at the Division I National Championships. His claim is he's in better shape in the same way. That's my workout partner. Yeah. Daily. He's got to have to be in good shape so he can kind of be able to carry you off the mat when it's all said and done, I think. <laughs> you're going to need a lot. Maybe you're going to need a couple of jakes there. I don't know. It's like you know, it's going to be ugly a little bit at the end, and you're going to need a lot of help. So it's a good thing he's around. I can't wait, Michael. I can't wait. Do, do you see it? We start off friendly, and what a neat promotion. And our former uh, company was Vision Quest Sport and Fitness because of the movie, because of this guy. Yeah. And uh, I can see why Loudon uh, wanted to kick his butt. 
okay? Because uh, <clears throat> every time you turn around the movie, uh, he's got a comment. I don't think he can help himself. Hope he can back it up. The fact that you let go of the vision quest, that's that's my big grudge, I think, if I'm going to be honest here. It's kind of like, you know, you had a cool thing going and you let it go. And so, uh, you know, I have to think, kind of come and, you know, represent Vision Quest and, you know, kind of stand up for the Vision Quest guys against the Fitness Quest guys. You know, let's let's see let's see who's top dog there. Yeah, you just understand it's it's Fitness Quest now. We were Vision Quest. You, you got to get over that a little bit. It's Fitness Quest. That's our company now, and it has been the last four and a half years. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay, name. Um, you can work with it if you need to, but. Uh, you know, Vision Quest is where it was all going on in the first place, and it, it all started this, and I got you where you are now, so the fact that you've kind of let that go, and now you're, what? Fitness Quest? What is that? You know, it's just a, you know, it's a simple little you know, play on Vision Quest. You're hoping to kind of keep that connection. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what kind of connection you have. Okay, so I'm calling everybody. We're in a 50-mile radius. Cheer me on. Auburn Fitness Quest, May 14th, showdown, high noon. It's in the Outlet Collection Mall. Then the next day, because all our members at the Puyallup Fitness Quest, 1710 East Main, high noon, that Sunday, May 15th, be here. We're going to have it out in the middle of the exercise floor so you guys can be a part of it. He'll have shirts available. He's going to have photos here. And... Uh, are you going to bring somebody else to do signatures if you can't write afterwards? <laughs> uh, I, think, I think you're uh, getting a little ahead of yourself there, young man. I'm going to call you a young man now because, you know, I'm hoping that you've got a little bit of sanity left from the not getting too old here, but uh, you're going to realize that this probably was a big mistake that, you know, to get slapped down in front of, you know, not just one group, but maybe two groups of your followers at fitness fitness quest as you now call it uh now this this is just going to be a good time for me i'm just going to have a good time well i'm i'm really looking forward to it michael shoot i'm really looking forward to it uh I will, we'll, we'll shake hands and uh no friends on the mat shoot it's all go baby all right thanks a lot guys good luck